knows that I'm about that life. And you really can't pull up on Panda. Okay? Pull up, you might find something you don't want to find, okay? Buenas noches. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Panda on Panda. Hey guys, I'm glad to be back. You know, this is my second month on YouTube. I'm super excited about where we're going. Thank you guys for tuning in. Before we go any further, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get, you know, all the details on me, what I got going on. So for this video, I wanted to tackle a little bit more personal stuff because I just want to be more open with you guys about what I be going through even in my relationships and stuff like that, because I feel like that's really interesting. And I think that dating in 2024 is really interesting. So yeah, let's talk about it. Today, I wanted to go through top reasons why I will never date the 12 again. Who is the 12? The 12 is police officers. You know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying. So um, in the past two years, I recently was dating somebody who was a police officer. At first he was training to be a police officer, but then he became a police officer. Both are trash, training and in actuality. But I wanted to go through like the top things that like kind of made me feel like I would never date a police officer ever again and stuff like that. I just think that there's a specific personality that men who hold a badge have. And honestly, ladies, I'm not sure if they're great personalities. I definitely don't wanna bash a whole job um, description because realistically, not everybody is the same. Um, but I have met and known a lot of police officers in my day. And some of them were friends of mine and later turned out to be nothing of mine's due to them getting charged with some crazy crazy charges and stuff like that and so no i just really don't really mess with 12. like i really just cannot mess with a pig ever um and me dating one kind of solidified their stance in my life it's just a no for me specifically um from a dating standpoint but i also do believe in defunding the police you know and putting that funding and things that can enrich the community a little bit more but you know that's a topic for another day. No justice, no peace. Um, but we're not here to talk about really racial things. We're just here to talk about what is actually like dating somebody who holds a badge. And I'm gonna break down the things that I saw in my relationship that if you are in a relationship with a police officer, you should be a little bit wary of. All right, let's do it. And yes, I got my handy dandy laptop and I also want to shout out my last video that I got 4k views and the video before that that got 25k views that's really dope guys thank you so much don't forget to watch my lives period um okay so let me pull up my notes because guys I made notes on this I need to be thorough in all the things that I have witnessed Okay, I'm not gonna tell y'all it was bad, but it was bad. So the first time I would, the first thing I would talk about is scheduling. So with a police officer, you're likely going to get a patchy schedule period, especially for like the dude that I was dating. He was a brand new officer. So it's like, it's low on the seniority poll. I don't know if anybody understands like unions and stuff but yeah officers are a part of a union um so he was very low on it so his schedule was really really all over the place and i feel like this one thing made it easier for him to get around and lie and now i have not caught him cheating like i have not caught him cheating but he has came back and told me lies that he's told that made me think that he's cheating because obviously, why would you need to tell these certain lies if you were not cheating? 
but guys they move around their schedule and then they can tell you that they have one schedule and that's not even the schedule that they have like you will be like you will be up in the air about what their day-to-day -day looks like based on what they tell you and you have to believe them because you don't know where you could see their schedule and their police officers their schedules can be all over the place because you know police work 24 7 all around the clock ladies let's do the math get the board all around the clock you cannot watch your man 24 7 and no lie these type of jobs give these dudes a second bout of energy they're going into their second family once they leave you their first family they're going to deal with their second family so that's all i'm gonna say straight like that okay so the second reason is paranoia now this is also a black man thing too like black men think that everyone's out for their name their government and their vocation it's super duper weird especially when they're talking to me a female like it's just weird but for my specific situation this man was always so suspicious and paranoid for no reason um if we were going to a location and we were meeting up because we were in like different parts of the city so we just decided to meet up at the location um i would walk in and he would be in the car like oh okay it's safe to go in and then come out his uh, car one time we got into an argument and he knew he was wrong but I was done with him. And I guess he's not used to people just moving on after he does something terrible to them. But I'm definitely a move on type of person. Baby, you're not going to trauma bond me. You better go trauma bond somebody else because it's not going to work with me. You're going to get kicked to the curb. But he um, came over one day after we had fell out completely and stuff like that. He came over. He came into my room. And then he checked the closets and stuff like that to, I guess, make sure nobody was in the closet. He thought he was going to get jumped. Paranoid. He should have got jumped, though. He should have got jumped. Y'all be, like, scared of the things that absolutely should happen to you because of the trash person you are and stuff like that. Like, you absolutely should have got jumped. Like, my, my cousins absolutely should have ran up on you. But I'm not that type of person, and I understand that he's an officer, and I don't want anybody to get in trouble. So I would just never do that. But he was super paranoid. And he was super paranoid about me cheating. Usually, cheaters are paranoid about cheating and stuff like that. And I feel like him being an officer gave him an excuse to be paranoid. He'd be like, oh, no, you always just got to stay on your P's and Q's. You never know what's going to happen. Boy, you're paranoid. It must be suffocating for you. You must can't breathe. You're paranoid. Like, stay home. Stay inside of something. I don't know what it was, but it was the most unattractive thing ever. He was super paranoid. It made absolutely no sense. And I promise you, this boy does not have any gang-related past. He has not been ran up on or nothing. He is a boy from Dorchester living a normal life. It's just absolutely insane. The narrative he has in his head is toxic because he's toxic. And then he created a whole bunch of toxic things within our relationship. And honestly, I just feel like being a police officer amplified the stupidity and the toxicity. Because he it just gave him the power to just feel like he could do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants. And he really thought it made sense just because he was a police officer. Yeah, wouldn't do it. Can't do it. Next. Third thing, okay? Um, his little police friends... I think people don't realize how toxic, toxic, predominantly ran man, men, um, job fields can be. They're so toxic. And I feel like a lot of times, um, they vouch for each other. You know how police vouch for each other? Um, they would do that in the name of friendship in the, in the name of policehood. Um, and I don't, even though it hasn't been anything illegal from what I've seen yet, I just don't find it healthy. It, it can't be healthy. And honestly, there is no accountability in his squad. I don't think they're like having really productive conversations. It just seemed very toxic because he would come back and um, 
starting a whole argument with me over nothing, over things that he already knew, which told me that he was running back to his police friends, telling him things, telling them things, probably not the whole story, because he would never give the whole story. No, he's gonna give the story that makes him sound good, which is another police officer trait. Y'all definitely get selective, don't you? Um, yeah, and they would give him advice and he would come back and do the advice that they gave him as if it was valid. And that is why we kept falling out. Like, he would be like, oh, you ignored me for like two months. I'm not messing with you. We could only ever have sex and stuff. He tried to put me in the only sex role when we had just came from being boyfriend and girlfriend. I was like, I stopped talking to you because you did dot, 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 which anybody would stop talking to you forever for. You're a liar. What that was, was a punishment. What that was, was supposed to be a learning thing for you but it wasn't because your friends made it seem like oh you're you're being thirsty you're chasing her and she don't deserve to be chased you're foolish he went back with his friends and told them some told them something and then they convinced him of something and then he came back with the bs with me and it was just trifling like y'all don't even know me and you certainly don't know him it was just men leading it was it was the blind leading the blind not men leading men but the blind men leading the blind and it was really really stupid i don't think it was productive too toxic and now he's single so the next thing that i want to talk about is him being a convincing liar it shouldn't shock you that a police officer is a convincing liar it's it's not really shocking me <laughs> excuse me it's not really shocking me but it's just how okay he is with lying. And he would also omit, like, and he didn't realize that omission is lying. Like, this isn't the law. This isn't, we're not in court. You're a bad person and I don't need a law to tell me that you're a bad person and you're treating me wrong. And like, bro, are you stupid? Like, he treated our relationship like we were in court. No, I couldn't make you go to jail for it, but you're not going to be my boyfriend acting like that. You're acting stupid, and I don't date stupid, so it is what it is. And so, yeah. No. The next thing that was really a thing for me, and I really think that this is very prominent in police-related jobs, is the ego. Whatever power you didn't have growing up, you try to get when you have a badge, when you're officially the 12, when you're the police and you're the parole in the streets, it's an ego to it. And it's very, very dangerous. And I can understand how black bodies are dropping out here in the streets due to police. It's very, very dangerous. And I do not think that they are um, evaluating police officers' mental state and also education. Evaluate that education. Hey, y'all just letting anybody be police officers. And you could tussle with me in the comments if you want to. But if I'm saying, oh, they need more education and they need to be mentally evaluated, how is it hurting anybody unless you feel like mentally unstable people and uneducated people should have guns with badges? So what I'm saying is actually not controversial, but what it is, it is what it is. And you just gonna have to fight me in the comments about it. So, um, yeah, the last one is just the fact of complacency when it came to Black Lives Matter. Um, he thought himself separate from it, but to date me, he acted like he did care about the cause and stuff like that. But I think he is very uneducated. And I think that just leads into what I was saying before about education being. But yeah, it just let me know that they're just letting anybody be a police officer and ladies, if you're dating them, be very wary. Do not let them get over on you. Don't listen to just everything they say because you just have to have a mind of your own and you have to be strong for yourself. And for the girls who are dating police officers who are a little bit stocky and stuff like that, mine was a little bit stocky, but not to the point where I could press charges. It was just him calling me all the time and stuff like that. It was never any pull up type of stuff because he knows that I'm about that life. And you really can't pull up on Panda. Okay? Pull up, you might find something you don't want to find. Okay. So, yeah, but I'm sure there's women who have dealt with abusive 
relationships while dating somebody who is a police officer and how easily they can get away with things and how easily they can finesse the system. Prayers to you guys, but I just wouldn't do it. Um, I know a lot of the Twitter conversation has been around, oh, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or a man? And I would also choose a bear. I would also choose the bear. It's not to say that I don't know great men, I really do, but not enough, not enough. So yeah, protect yourself ladies. And just because he has a job with a badge does not necessarily mean that he is a good person. This person could be having a badge and have no morals, no ethics, no education. And ultimately that is the reason why I will never date the 12 again. And also why I would never date my ex again. It's unfortunate and I'm really not even trying to drag him, but I just realized all of the elements that were at play during our relationship. And um, although he was handsome and the sex game was amazing, I just feel like it was, he had a lot of issues and I'm not even a judgmental person. Like I really don't want to rag on anybody about their issues, but like his issues, I would not feel comfortable with him being a cop and cop and policing me. I would not be comfortable with that. I think that deep, 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 way deep down, he has a good heart, but it's very, very hard to see at a, a few times. And it's not because he ever said anything too crazy to me because he really hasn't, but he is a crazy mother effer. Okay, like, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Nah. So just be wary, take your time choosing people. And I do think the job profession does matter because I feel like certain job professions attract a certain personality. So ladies, be careful. Men, be careful too. Um, yeah, and choose wisely. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to go enjoy my weekend. It's a Thursday, but it's a Friday for me because period, I ain't doing nothing else. Um, I'm lying, I'm gonna go cook. But yeah, I love you guys. Um, and Although this relationship that I'm talking about was a really, really hard period of my life. When I tell y'all guys, it was horrid. It was horrid. Like, um, like very, very hard in my life. And honestly, it took a lot to recover from that specific relationship. And although I'm glad that I'm out of it, looking at it from hindsight, it's, it's a terrible sight. So, um, yeah, just be careful about who you date and honestly this is him hitting me up now why i don't know